Talmud Bavli Gmar Brachot, Perik Shishi, Daf Lamed Tet Amud Aleph, Chapter 6, Page 39A. And we're just going to start from the bottom of the previous page. Rabbi Yochanan Hechi Mevarech Al Zait Malia, how did Rabbi Yochanan recite a blessing on a salted olive? Kevan Dishkila Legar in. Legarine, because once the the pit is taken away, batale shiura it has less than the amount required, that is to make the al hamichi blessing afterwards. Amale zet Rabbi Yirmiya, mi savat kazait gadol beinan. Do you think that we need the volume of a large olive to qualify? Kazait beinoni beinan, or we need we need the volume the volume of a medium olive. The hahu dai de aitu daietu le kame de Rabbi Yochanan. And that which they brought before you, Rabbi Yochanan, the zait gadol hava was a large olive, the af al gav de shaklu de shakluha le gari nute, so that even though they removed its pit, pashle shiura, they still remained the required amount. Ditnan. For we learned in the Mishnah, Zayt Shamro, the olive that they spoke of, Lo Katan Velogadol, is neither small nor large, Ela Benoni, but rather a medium sized olive, Vezehu Aguri, and this is the Aguri olive, which is a kind of olive. The uh, Amar Rabbi Abahu, and Rabbi Abahu said, Lo Aguri Shmo Ela Avruti Shmo. Its true name is not Aguri, but rather Avruti. The Amre La Samrusi Shmo, or some say its name is Samrusi. The Lama Nikra Shmo Aguri. Why was it called Aguri? Sheshamnu Agur Betocho, because its oil is gathered Agur within it. That is, the oil is not in the meat or in the flesh of the fruit, like it, as in a, like it, like as in the juice of an apple or a berry, but uh, it's, uh, but like a grape, the the oil is ready to emerge rather than needing to be crushed. Neima katana 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 a. So this is an argument of the Tanayim. De Hanehu Tre Tamide de Havu Yatve Kame de Kapara. For there were two disciples sitting before Bar Kapara, Hevio Lefana Kero Keruv Vedur Maskin Ufargiot. They brought before him cabbage and Durmaskin. Which is a special kind of herb called orach or orash or mountain spinach. And so they brought before him cabbage and domaskin and partridge meat. Partridge is a kind of bird. Natamba Kapara Rashudla Echad but Bar Kapara gave one of the disciples permission to recite the blessing. Kafat uverach al hapargiot. The disciple hastened and recited Shakol blessing on the partridge. Ligleg alav chaveiro. His colleague mocked him. Kaas Bar Kapara. Bar Kapara became angry. Amar. He said, Lo al hamevarech. Anikoes, it's not with the one who recited the, the blessing. I'm angry. Ela alha melagleg anikoes, but rather is with the one who mocked him that I'm angry. Im chaverecha domek mi shelota as taam basar o meolam. For if your colleague is like one who never tasted the taste of meat, ata. Al ma lig lig lagta alav. On what did you have the right to mock him? 
חזב ואמר בקר פרדנסר, לא על המלגלג אני כועס, אלא על המברך אני כועס, is not with the one who mocked that I am angry, but rather is the one who said the wrong blessing that I am angry. ואמר בקר פרדנסר, אם חוכמה אין כאן זקנה אין כן, if wisdom is not here, is greater age not? Not here? That means that uh, he should have been consulted before making the blessing. Tana, it was Tana Vraisa, Ushnehem lo hotziu shnatana, neither of them lived at the year, that is the two disciples. My love, Bahakam Miflege, is it not that they disagree in the following? Demivarech Savash Lakot O Fargiot Shakol Nier Bidvaro, that the one who recited the blessing holds cooked vegetables and partridge is Shakol Nier Bidvaro. Hil Ka Chavivadiv, therefore the favourite food takes precedence, and then you say the blessing. But the one who mocked holds that the cooked vegetables is for a priyarama. Partridge is shakoniya bidvaro. Therefore, the fruit takes precedence uh, when saying the blessings. Lo. No, this is not so. All agree that cooked vegetables and partridge are shakoni bidvaro. And here it is, in this, they disagree. Master holds that the favourite food takes precedence. And the master holds... The other master holds that cabbage takes precedence over the partridge because it provides sustenance. That is, uh, as previously taught in a Barisa on page 44b, cabbage provides sustenance. I'm just going to scroll down. So we are at about halfway down, the beginning of the line, it's about 10 lines down on the screen, the beginning word of the line is Desayen. Um, Rabbi Zera, Rabbi Zera said, when we were at the Kerimi of Rav Huna, Amarlan, he said to us, Hane Garglide de Lifta, these turnip heads, Paraminehu Prima Rabba, one cut them into large pieces. Bore Priyadama, the blessing is Bore Priyadama, Prima Zuta, in small pieces, it's Shakoni Ibivaro. That everything so vehi at an levi leve ravioda. But when we came to the Academy of Rav Yehuda, Amalan Ravioda said to us, Idi ve Idi Bore Priyadama. These and those, the large and the small, is Bore Priyadama. Vahai de Diframine de Framinehu Tefi. And that which is excessively cut, that is into very, very small pieces, ki hechi denun tik tame, so that its taste should be sweeter. Am Ravashi, Ravashi said, ki avinan be Rav Kahana, when we were at the Academy of Rav Kahana, Amalan, he said to us, tav shila de silka de lo mapshu ba kimcha, the cooked beetroot dish, or beet dish, to which they did not add much flour. They only added a little flour, or they did not add a lot of flour. We say, Bore Priyadama, the blessing is Bore Priyadama. Dilfet delifta de mapshul ba kimcha tefe. And for a cooked dish of turnips, to which they add a lot of flour, Bore Minim is a not. You say, Bore Minim is a not. Ba but Rav Kahana then said, Idi the Idi Bore Priyadama, this and that, both the beet dish and the turnip dish, is Bore Priyadama. 
and that which they pour more flour into, le double ba alma of de la. They do simply for adhesion. So the flour is, does not have a purpose for eating, but only for adhesion. Amar Rav Chizda Rav Chizda said, Tashil shal teradin yafel alev, a dish of cooked beetroot is healthy for the heart, vetov le'en naim, and good for the eyes, v'chol sheken levnei me'ayim, and certainly for the digestion. Amar Abaye, Abaye said, v'hu diyativ abay tfi ve'avid tuch, tuch. And this is the dish that sat on the stove um, that they made Tuch tuch, which is the sound of bubbling while it's cooking. Amar Rav Papa, Rav Papa said, Pshita li, it is clear to me, Maya disilka kasilka, the soup of beets is like the beets themselves. That would mean that you would you that you would say the bracha adama for a priyadama. Umaya de lifta de lift kalifta. And therefore the soup of turnips is like turnips. Umaya de de hulhu shlake ke hulhu shlake. And the soup of all vegetables are like all vegetables. And therefore you'd say hadama on them. Ba'e ra papa. Rav Papa inquired, Maya de Shivtamai, what is for the soup of cooked dill? Le matuke tama avde, is it made to enhance the flavor of the dish? Or le abure zuhama avde la, or is it made to remove bad odors from a dish? Tashma, come and learn. Hashevet dill, mishenatna ta'am bakadera, once it is imparted flavors to the dish, Ein ba mishum truma, it is no longer classified as truma. The ena metam metama tumat ochalim, and it no longer transmits food tuma. Shmamina la matuke tama avdila, learn from this that it is made to enhance the flavor. Shmamina. Uh, so the conclusion is to learn from this. Ama Ravchia Barashi, Ravchia Barashi said, Pat Tnuma Bakara Mevachin Alea Hamoti. On dry bread in a bowl, we recite, uh, we recite Hamoti Lechem in Aret. Ufliga de Rabichia, and Rabichia is in disagreement. Dama Rabichia, Rabichia said, Sarich Shetichle Baracha Im Hapat, the blessing must conclude with uh, with breaking the loaf or like cutting the bread. Mat Kifla Rabba, Rabba objected. Mai Shanat Numat what is different about dry bread? That uh, we don't say Hamotzi. Mishum Dechik Chalya. Bracha afusa kachalia, because when the blessing is recited in to conclusion, uh, it is being recited to conclusion on a broken piece, rather than the whole loaf. Al hapatnami, even on the whole loaf, ki kara ki kagamra afusa gamra. When the blessing culminates, it culminates on a broken piece.